Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 2 Episode 7 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. The person who's I called that. I th because th he's the only person that makes any sense. But okay, so we, we look. We still don't even know if like he's. I I yeah. I knew Okio was weird, but like I still don't trust him. Like even though he says that he's like good, but I still think he's bad. Like I don't know where he's going, and I uh, clearly neither does he. That is pretty impressive actually to be able to tell what is just because like the bag's not like you know like shaking back and forth, but you can still tell just by that slight sound. And as exaggerated as that looks, there are people who are that like adept at just hearing. And like, I, I actually, I know someone like personally, I went to high school with him and he's still a great friend of mine. Like he is amazing at like, he plays the piano, he plays the cello, he plays the guitar, he probably plays every other instrument that I can imagine, but he has perfect pitch. And it's, I've tested it just a bunch of times and I mean, music is like a big part of his life. But like what I mean by that is like, I can literally play random sounds from like the internet and from YouTube and he'll just start like listing off the note like I'll, I'll just play something and he'll be like okay C natural F sharp G A and it's amazing like he can tell all the individual notes just from a sound and I don't know how he does it because I have never met anyone else like that ever but I know like other people exist because they're on the internet and a lot of musicians have this but it's it's amazing how good people's hearing is. I mean, mine's probably really bad. But in fact, in um, 2007, that sounds about right. In 2007, there was a Harvard study that came out that said one in 20 people are legitimately tone deaf. I'm convinced I'm one of those people, but I also don't know how other people hear things, if that makes sense. What I do know is that my one friend who has, I almost said pitch perfect, that's a movie. One of my friends who has perfect pitch his hearing is just, it's on a whole different level. I still don't know, how, like, I don't know if he was born with it or if you could develop it. Like, there's any musicians in, like, the comment section who knows about this? Like, is this something that you can actually, like, work on and practice? Because for him, he's just had it his whole life, and I don't know where he gets it from. <laughs> Where would he go? Like, is there's like it's not like he's running to a desk. Like he has no idea what's out there. Like, I mean, it's not impossible to survive by yourself, but like humans are solitary animals. Or, sorry, humans are social animals, not solitary animals. So I don't know how he's gonna make it. Like, what? I don't know, like, this seems like a really dumb idea. <laughs> like, if you're gonna run, it's probably best to run to something, not just away from safety and comfort. This is the same sort of like technique that Senku used when he was um, blowing up those like balloons made out of deer livers to um, uh, to distract like the pink gymnastics girl in the snow. Remember that oh, a while ago? I think it's the exact same principle, and that is how I mean, yeah, that's basically like the mechanism by which guns are used. 
today and how they fire. It's also when most people refer to a bullet, what they're actually talking about is the cartridge. There's three parts to a cartridge, the primer, propellant, and the bullet. What's going to happen is that the firing pin inside of the gun is going to hit the primer and that creates a small explosion and that will ignite the propellant which creates another explosion and then that makes a really high pressure area and for all that pressure to reach equilibrium like it has to push all of the air out in one direction which is down the barrel of the gun and between that and the end of the barrel there's the bullet and that's what's being pushed out as everything is reaching equilibrium. This design only calls out for a one-time use, but it doesn't seem very difficult to just rig it so you can use it multiple times. I mean, I'm sure he has multiple of those, like whatever that sack is called, and he can just like like interchangeably like re replace them and find a way. I mean, because all you really have to do is make sure that air doesn't escape out of uh, like as like it's like bubbling and creating all that hydrogen and oxygen. It just can't escape outside of like that flap when. It, once it gets to a point where it pops, that's what sends like the cannon out. But I don't think this is so difficult to the point where you only have to use it once. It's also worth noting that Senku and the science team, like they know that it's only a one-time use, but the enemy doesn't know that, right? Like for all they know, they can reuse this thing over and over again to their heart's content. So like it, even though everyone else is like kind of concerned about it, like the enemy, all they're going to see is like one giant cannon coming out of that tank. Like, they have no clue if it can do more or less or what is inside of that thing. Harvard大の心理学者、照明家ってお父さんの研究によれば、人間の衝動が持つ時間はわずか20秒。つまり奇襲決めても敵が衝動的にやべえ逃げてってパニックってくれんのは、最初の20秒間だけだ。それを過
The tickets to the premiere will be in the link in the description. Obviously, I'm going to be there. This would be a great opportunity for a meet and greet. I've never done one of those before, but this is the best chance to meet me, best chance for me to meet you guys. If you're in the area, buy a ticket. I would love to see you. You're going to watch a movie with me. It's going to be a hilarious comedy. I think it's going to make for a great time. Go ahead, buy the tickets. I hope to see you there. Stay fresh and stay golden.